So, you need to detail the land of your survival world. Well, luckily for you, someone else also needs to do that, and it's me. So today, we are going to be detailing basically this whole area. Over here, we are going to be adding some trees, some logs, and just a few things, just to make it look a bit better. And then we're also going to continue, going to continue going on through here. I feel like birch trees are just more so, um, more of a taller, straight tree. So we aren't really going to be adding too much as extra branch, at least for most of it. And there's a custom tree. Um, not the best, but just having a bit of something there, a bit of variation in between some oak. That's just, that's all we need with the, um, that's all we need with the birch. So this might be a bit later into me doing this, as you guys can see. But, um, the reason I'm saying we need to, you know, add a bit of variation there, uh, or, like, you know, we should add that birch for variation is because, over here, for example, without another color, it looks a bit more bland, and it kind of mashes together. But if we go over here and look at this... If you're, if you're doing like a basic custom tree like I'm doing right here, just a bit of different color in the leaves can change a lot. Now for these custom trees, it's mainly just like kind of a set of rules I'm using. Don't make a side the exact same. And sometimes on that fence post, leave like a little gap. There, there's a bit of a birch tree. I just build straight up and a bit of a birch pillar. Then I add like either two to five fences on top depending on how tall i want the tree to be and then that's my tree for the oak trees i just go up a bit place a slab then continue going up i think for some of these i use fence posts yeah here for example i use some fence posts as long as you try and just make it a bit more like 3d ish like continue draping some leaves you should end up with something that at least looks a bit decent now i'm not going to be detailing the whole island so i'm not sure what i want to do on this side yet but we're going to be doing the parts where i i know we're finished with and then during other episodes i'll just complete the rest so for now this island's finished after we uh do all the detailing of course but when we finish all the detailing we're pretty much done with this place and to learn more about what we're going to be doing after this, you have to stay tuned till the end of the video. Haha, <laughs> there we go. Now now you guys are hooked. You're engaged. You're staying forever. This your new this your new home. You're never leaving. Good luck. And again, these trees are just very basic. But they get their job done, so you know. And their job is look different than a vanilla tree. And um, I mean I'd say they look a bit different, maybe even a bit better than vanilla trees. And since we added some stone buttons and just some birch buttons in the beach, I think that we should also put some buttons over here in the Hobbit Hole Village. There we go. Now it looks like we have some pebbles around, which kind of brings in some more atmosphere. Looks like there's just been stones kicking around here. And while we're around this to-do list, I want to tell you guys that we still have some pets to name. We have the armadillo over here, as well as our little dog here, and our parrot, and our little cat friend over here. Why, hello. So if you have any name suggestions, let me know down below in the comments. Not, not in the description, you can't really type there, so, you know. Comments. Comments the best place for you to go. Big part of this, these terraforming and all these types of projects is tools that can do the job well. Which, uh, luckily for me, I had while doing this small little bit of terraforming.
so right now we're oh my god oh hello mr man so guys uh we're back and i think we're going to add a wheat field over here Oh my god, I had a crafting table. Oh my god. all right so now we did a bit of detailing oh and this is the area now we have a bit of a path the two little tiny hobbit holes and uh i mean up here this is a part where i'm not too sure what i want to do with it yet so we're gonna leave this for now but all down here it it's looking pretty good and especially when that wheat farm grows in fully I think it'll look even better. But what we did was uh, we added some stone buttons on the pathing here. Add some little stones. Make it look like it's a older path. Maybe some rocks are just kicking around since no one's really walking here. Uh, we are using moss for lighting. Just using it as kind of like a secret lighting. I mean, you can see it. I mean, I can even see the flames of the torch sometimes. But we also added some trees. We ended off the forest here, just because I uh, I don't want to continue. I don't want I don't want to do more trees. <laughs> I might do like one more tree there just to try and round it off a bit. But yeah, then we have one big tree right there, right beside these two tiny hobbit hole houses, with a little tiny oak tree on top. This makes our world look. I would say like a hundred times better. Just having a bit of a force there looks a bit better than over here because, uh, you know, different, a bit of different color in the leaves. And also when we're down here, it looks pretty good still. Yes, there's some things we can do to improve, but this series is a average builder. Uh, I'm not the best builder. I'm just like more of an average type of builder because i don't like practice all the time this is a average amount of work that you know of course will take a few hours but this is something you can do pretty easily but yeah that's it for this episode by the way if you guys like this shader let me know if i should keep it or not because i i think it adds a bit i think it i think it looks nice but I mean, if you guys don't like it, then I can just remove it. The next episode, we are going to be going over to Deforestation Island. And over here, we are going to make a dog village slash city. Because in my most recent short, I asked how many dogs you guys think is good enough for one Minecraft world. And for every subscriber I got from that short and my most recent video, that we would make two dogs and make them both a house we're going to use this area and we're going to add a bunch of little tiny dog houses for all the dogs to sit at and then we might also add a little bridge here as well just like an actual a real real bridge not not just a cobblestone trail but if you guys enjoyed the video like subscribe it's free and you can always unsubscribe later and yeah, I mean, you know what's happening next episode. So, if you guys want to see the beginning of the series, 
you can either click to your right for the full playlist or to your left for just the one episode but why why would you do that when you can watch all the episodes give me more watch time baby like subscribe and i'll see you all next time goodbye